Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to learn how to solve two-step linear equations and also equations with brackets. Here we have an equation. On the left hand side we have two terms, we've got 2x and then subtract 7, and on the right hand side it's just 5. The first thing we're going to do is deal with this subtract 7 here. To do this we're going to do the inverse operation, which is add 7, and we're going to do this to both sides. So let's write our equal sign, and then we're going to add 7 to both the left hand side and the right hand side. If we add 7 to the left hand side, this will cancel out the subtract 7, so we're just left with 2x. And on the right hand side, 5 plus 7 is 12. What we now have is a one step equation. On the left hand side, we have 2x. This means 2 multiplied by x. So we're going to deal with this 2 now by doing the inverse operation of multiply by 2, which is divide by 2. And once again, we'll do this to both sides. So if we write the equals, on the left hand side 2x divided by 2 is just 1x, and on the right hand side 12 divided by 2 is 6. So the answer to this equation is x equals 6. Let's try another example. So on this one we're going to deal with the plus 3 first. The inverse of plus 3 is subtract 3, so we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. We'll do this on the left hand side and the right hand side. On the left hand side the plus 3 and then subtract 3 will cancel, so we just have 6x and on the right hand side 27 take away 3 is 24. Now we can deal with this 6 here. 6x means 6 multiplied by x, so the inverse operation here is to divide by 6. We'll do this on both sides. On the left hand side 6x divided by 6 is 1x, and on the right hand side 24 divided by 6 is 4. So the solution for this one is x equals 4. Now let's have a look at some examples that involve brackets. Like this equation here. There are two different approaches that you could use. The first approach is to expand out the bracket. So for this approach we're going to leave the right hand side alone, so let's write that down, equals 21. And now on the left hand side we're going to multiply out this bracket. So we need to do 3 times x, which is 3x, and then 3 times positive 5, which is positive 15. So we've now expanded this left hand side and the bracket's gone, and we have a two step equation to solve, just like before. In order to solve this one we're going to look at this plus 15 here first. The inverse operation for that is to subtract 15, if we do that on the left hand side we have 3x, and on the right hand side 21 take 15 is 6. We can then deal with this 3 here by dividing by 3 on both sides, if you divide by 3 on the left you get 1x, and if you divide by 3 on the right you get 2. So the solution to this one is x equals 2. Now I'm going to solve the exact same equation again but using a different approach, you can choose whichever one you prefer. When we have a number in front of a bracket like this number 3 here, this means 3 is multiplied by the whole bracket. So we can use the inverse operation for multiplying by 3, and divide by 3 on both sides. If we divide by 3 on both sides, on the left hand side this will cancel out the 3, so we'll just be left with this bracket x plus 5, but we don't need to write the bracket, we can just write x plus 5. And on the right hand side 21 divided by 3 is 7. Now we have a one step equation to solve, we just need to deal with this plus 5 here, we can subtract 5 from both sides, on the left hand side the 5's will cancel so we have x, and on the right hand side 7 take away 5 is 2. You can see we still end up with the same solution but it's slightly quicker. You can use either method whichever one you prefer. Let's try one more example with brackets, again we'll go for both approaches. First of all let's do the approach where we expand out the brackets, so we leave the right hand side alone as equals 5, and on the left hand side we do 5 times x, which is 5x, and then 5 times negative 4, which is negative 20. Now if we look at this negative 20, the inverse of that is to add 20, so we add 20 to both sides. If you add it to the left you get 5x, and if you add it to the right you get 25. Now we have 5 multiplied by x, so we can divide by 5 on both sides. If you divide by 5 on the left you get x, and if you divide by 5 on the right you get 5. Now let's also solve this same equation using the other approach. So we're going to start by dealing with this 5 here by dividing by 5 on both sides. If we divide by 5 on the left we end up with x minus 4, and again we don't need to write that bracket anymore, and 5 divided by 5 on the right is 1. Now we can move on to this subtract 4 here. To deal with this we're going to add 4 to both sides. If you add 4 to the left hand side you just get x, and if you add 4 to the right hand side 1 add 4 is 5. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful, check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, 
and check out the exam questions in this video's description.